Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make sundubu jjigae, Korean spicy soft tofu stew. Let's get started! Annyeong chingudu, are you guys ready to cook? It's been getting chilly in Korea And when it gets chilly, I always crave for one food Which is Sundubu jjigae Sundubu is soft tofu and jjigae is steel So it is Korean spicy soft tofu jjigae uh, Jjigae, what's a jjigae? Steel, <laughs> steel <laughs> There are a bunch of different kinds of sundubu jjigae in Korea such as uh, seafood, beef, dumpling, or ham and cheese, and more. But today, I'm gonna teach you the simplest but the most delicious sundubu jjigae. Once you prepare the sauce, it will only take a 10 minute to make it. So, let's get started! To get started, we're gonna make the sauce first. First, get red pepper flakes. I'm gonna use two different kinds of red pepper flakes. One spicy one and one mild one. But if you don't like spicy one, just get the mild one. If you wanna use same one as I use, it's called gochugaru, which is a red pepper flake. You can use the link in my description down below. So four tablespoons of mild red pepper flakes and two tablespoons of really spicy red pepper flakes. Feel free to change your weight ratio to your preference. Next, 2 tablespoons of beef dashida. If you can't find dashida, use any kind of beef stock. So, 2 tablespoons. 1 tablespoon of salt. 1 and a half tablespoons of minced garlic. 1 tablespoon of jinganjang, strong soy sauce. I explain all different kinds of Korean soy sauce in my Korean essential video. So if you haven't checked it, you can check here. Half a tablespoon of fish sauce 4 tablespoon of mirin 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce Last, 7 tablespoons of gochugiru which is red pepper flavored oil Whether you put this or not will make a huge difference on finer taste So make sure add it 7 Ah, oh, shimetta smells super spicy And mix well Ah, my shigeta Mmm, <coughs> super spicy. Ooh, I can't talk. I'm sweating so much. It's very spicy and extremely garlicky. So if you don't like spicy food and if you don't like garlic, maybe it's good to skip this recipe. But if you want me to cover the non-spicy and non-garlicky sundubu jjigae, let me know in the comment down below. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it marinate for one to three days. So while it's marinating, we're gonna use use the sauce that I made few days ago. You can just use it, but it tastes better after few days. Now we are gonna prepare our vegetable. First, we need half an onion. Slice it in half, cut it into small chunks, about this size. And put to the side. Next, we need one green onion. Slice it into small chunks, pretty much the same size as the onion. Put to the side. Next, we need two spicy pepper. I'm using Cheongnyang Gochu, which is the spiciest pepper in Korea. But if you don't like spicy food, skip this part. And cut the stem and slice it thinly. Put to the side. Last, we need half a zucchini. Slice it into quarters. Slice it into small chunks. I'm slicing every vegetable in small chunks so it can cook faster but keep its texture Put to the side Oh my gosh, we're done! <laughs> Super fast! Next, get a pan and put all the vegetables that we prepared and add 4 cups of water and turn your stove on high heat Add 3 cloves of minced garlic and 3 tablespoons of the sauce and last, we need 150 grams of ground pork. Make sure mix it well so the sauce can dissolve in the water well. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add tofu and it's done. About one year ago, I went to the really famous sundubu jjigae restaurant in Korea. I was wondering why their sundubu jjigae was more kalkarada than my sundubu jjigae. So I look at their sundubu jjigae and it was a little more 
oily. So I guess that it was a chili oil. So I tested it at home and it was pretty similar taste. That's how I figure out this recipe. And I made this for Sarah and she say it's better than a restaurant. So you should definitely try this recipe. Once it's boiling, get a 350 grams of sundubu, which is a soft tofu, and put it in the pan. Break the tofu gently with your spoon. Once it's boiling again, we're gonna cook it two more minutes. But since I'm gonna make a thumbnail, I'm gonna turn the stove off and change it to the dorizo. When you get a sundubu jjigae at a restaurant, they usually serve in a dorizo. If you wanna eat it like a restaurant, make sure to cook it in a dorizo. But it will taste exactly same in a normal bowl. Turn your stove on high heat again. Once it's boiling rapidly, get one egg and place it in the middle. This is how they serve in a sundubu restaurant. Pour some soup on top of the egg to cook the egg. Once the egg is cooked, turn your stove off. That's it. Our sundubu jjigae is all ready to eat. Eating time! That's it! I'm super hungry! Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a restaurant. Like, this is how they actually serve. But let's try! Mmm! Oh my gosh, it tastes super good! The flavor? It's very spicy, but it's so savory. Even though I add a little bit of the pork, since I add a dashida, it's so meaty and I really like it. Oh, my friend. And I really like the all different texture. Since I sliced all the vegetables in small chunks, it cooked perfectly, but it still keeps its texture. I really like it. It's like it's still asak asak, but tofu, soft tofu is like a what you call it? It's almost like a pudding. Once you put it in your mouth, it melt down in your mouth, and I really like it. I feel like sundubu jjigae is like Korean minestrone soup. Zucchini with the chili flavor is almost like a tomato paste. But it's more fresh and spicy. So if you like minestrone, you should definitely try. That's it for today's episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button. That will help my channel a lot. What time is it? Time to announce Chingo of the Week. So Chingo of the Week is... Lexington Badger. She tried all my meal prep recipe and everything looks super good. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep cooking delicious food and if you're cooking my food, please tag me. Thank you to my Patreon, Mechanoman, Krista, Sacqueline, Nancy, Samantha, Shanet, Salander, Miss Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joy, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gavin. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better content. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!